you have you have uh, you you have a experience that everybody doesn't have, mm -hmm. right? Because going back, like when we talked mm -hmm. four years ago, right? Yeah. You you were saying how you were you started off as an intern at Reach Records. Yeah. And then from there, just just, just walk us back through it because I want to make sure I don't miss nothing. You started off as an intern. Yeah. Then and I got hired back on. I st so I started off as an intern my junior year. Um, then after junior year, I went back and finished my senior year at UT. And then they hired me on staff. Yeah. So as soon as like, college was over, I had like maybe one month yeah. to like live my life. And then I started working there. Um, and then, yeah, I started working. And then six months later, I got offered a contract. And then I started being an artist with them. So, so I, I know we talked about it before, but I, I just want to just unhash this a little bit. Because I've, I've heard you just share a little bit more about... Uh, this experience, this journey, while you're working at a record label, yeah. right? And this is a record label that you were listening to. Uh, this is a record label that you're familiar with the music, you're familiar with the message. It really yeah. resonates with you, uh, with Reach and with Lecrae and 116. And now, you're and you're still, and you're putting out music, yeah. right? You're putting out music and you're like, y'all see me? Y'all <laughs> see me? Like, like talk, talk, talk a little bit about that. Like, talk about having a gift, right? Cause I told you, I listen to your music. I heard the bars. I hear the bars, yeah. right? You know, the bars they they stacking up like Tetris right now. But <laughs> hey, bars. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But like, talk about having a gift, but then feeling unseen. Yeah. Just talk about that a little so, bit. So yeah, it was definitely a trying time. So <laughs> it was like a duality. So like one aspect, I'm a fan. So like I was just excited to be there. I would say my internship, just excited to be there. I wasn't tripping. Yeah. And so, but I also in the back of my head was like, oh, I'm going to get signed by the end of my internship. That didn't happen though. So um, going back to working there, I think it was a trying time. I think I like definitely got refined in my character mm. like heavily. So I think yeah. a lot of people were like, oh yeah, like I'm great. Like, you know, like I know what I'm doing. And God will be like, oh, really? Here, let's see. And like, God uses tests a lot of times to reveal like what's inside of you. So I definitely got refined in terms of like, God showed me, can you root for other people mm. if like he's blessing them right in front of your face in mm. the midst of him doing your journey? Or can you, yeah, can you assist other people while working on yourself? Can you work on yourself? Like, are you willing to be dedicated and work hard and stuff like that? So I yeah. think I learned a lot of lessons along that journey mm -hmm. uh yeah which were difficult because i know at one point like they were like my job assignment was literally to find a female rapper for us to sign oh, <laughs> it, no, was crazy. No it, was, way. it was crazy it was crazy it was crazy time and so even that because i was like Man. i like god had to shift my perspective of like don't try to like cut this person down like literally elevate them because in my head i was like okay maybe god's gonna sign this person this person's gonna open the door mm -hmm. then maybe that person will advocate for me yeah. later in life yeah. so meanwhile like i ended up it ended up being me later in life but it's crazy, like, you just never know. So I think he definitely refined me of knowing, like, him working in someone else's life has nothing to do with him working in your life. Like, uh -huh. he can do those both at the same time. Sheesh. And so, yeah. So, so ultimately, were you the female rapper that signed, not signed yourself, but, like, were you... No, it was a totally different story. So, what? <laughs> yeah, so I ended up getting signed, like, on, like, a backstory. Like, I, I always hear different stories. Uh -huh. It's so funny. It's like a legend. <laughs> <laughs> But um, the most recent story okay, I've heard, okay. so we had an interview one time actually at Reach, and so I was talking to our former marketing director, his name is Marcus, and then Ace, he's like the A&R. So the story I heard from there, uh -huh. that conversation was, Marcus was advocating for me. He found me on the internet, uh -huh. and then Marcus was like, yo, like we gotta sign Wanda, like you see her dedication, you see the music, you see all this, and then like it was like a... Like, it was like a half and half duel. Uh -huh. Like, half of the exec team was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the other half was like, oh, we don't know. And so then he said one day he actually got on the table in an exec oh, meeting. He was like, I'm not leaving until we do this. Y'all have to do this. Y'all got to stop. Y'all got to get it together. And uh, it was like a showdown. And he was like, he was like, I'm sorry I lost my character that day. But it needed to be done. And Man. so then they all woke up. They were like, okay, fine, Marcus. We'll listen to you. And uh, then he got Lecrae convinced. He started getting hype. Then uh, Ben, he also owns the label. He started getting hype. Okay. So then I had like three powerful people root for me now. Nice, so I have the nice. owner of the label, the president of the label, and the marketing director being like, we got to sign Wanda. So mm -hmm. um, they basically had me shoot my shot on a, on a project. So we had a Christmas album coming out. And so they like gave me a beat and they're like, hey, you know, feel free to do whatever. No promises, but you know, let's see what happens. And uh -huh. if we like it, it'll stay on the album. And so... Um, I did the song called All Is Bright. And so after I did that, then they were like, oh, wow. Like, this is actually really good. And then it was basically maybe like a month after that, that's when I got offered the contract. Wow. Okay.